Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this Christmas piano lesson, we are going to learn Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano. A popular song around the festive season, I'm sure. And I'm going to teach it to you in a slightly different way than it is normally taught. I'm going to teach you the song in five ways. We are going to do some very groovy genres. We are going. It is a groovy song. It is a wishing song. So we'll do the lesson as follows. We'll first start off with the melody. I'm going to teach you the tune. It's on G major. One sharp, F sharp, right? I'll teach you the melody. Then we'll go through the chords. And then we are going to develop solo piano arrangements on five genres as well as one bonus one. So do stay tuned till the very end and get yourself a copy of the staff notation which is available on our Patreon page. Along with the staff notation, you'll also get MIDI files, you'll also get backing tracks and not only for this lesson, you'll be getting supplementary resources for pretty much all that we have been doing and will ever do on YouTube. And it'll be awesome if you could consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that bell icon for regular notifications. Let's get cracking. First off, the melody on G major. So I'll just play you line by line. Get your keyboards out, it might help. And uh, stay tuned till the very end because the chords are going to come in, the rhythm patterns, the genres. So do stay tuned. You might want to pause the video and get your keyboards out and play along with me as I'm teaching. So first let's do the melody with a simple pulse in the left hand. And uh, a, a good note to play is G. So let's just look at G major. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, 1 sharp. Namely, F sharp. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. So let's just look at the melody first. We need to note that the melody starts not at the one beat, but a bit later. So one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. And then a long gap. So Feliz starts at one, two. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Let's just do that package. One, two, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. If you read music, you can see the notation. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año felicitan. One more time. Feli and you can look at my fingers. I'm starting with my index finger on D. That would help. And then, Feliz Navidad, you can use your pinky for that A, Feliz, actually pinky for both the top notes, G and A, so let's do that together, Feliz Navidad, and if you want to count this, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, it's starting at the end of the beat number 2 of the bar which seems to have 4 beats. And two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Wait. Feliz Navidad. Two, three, four. Wait. So it's pretty much the same rhythmic figure. Pa ba, pa ba, pa. Wait. Pa ba, pa ba, ba. So we are going to fill those gaps with our left hand with a lot of interesting rhythmic options. Pa ba, pa ba, pa. Two, three, four. Wait. Pa ba pa ba one two three four. Wait. Pa ba pa. So now moving to the third line. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año felicidad. You can probably cross over your index finger. Prospero año felicidad. Or you can use the thumb for both notes. Up to you really. The fingering is pretty easy for this melody. But let's do that again. And I'm just maintaining a simple pulse and it's about the right time to introduce you to the chords but without us actually playing the chords let's just do the roots of the chords so even if you're a beginner watching this video and if you don't know how to actually play a full-on chord with inversions and patterns you can get by by just playing the root so i'll just walk you through the roots feliz navidad that's a c which is the four chord of the g major it'll eventually form a c major throughout our uh, over our lesson feliz navidad to c mm, d feliz navidad back to the tonic mm, e minor i've added an e minor mm, 
Feliz Navidad, si prospero di na felicidad tu tri. Let's do that whole story again. Feliz Navi C two three four D Feliz Navidad two three four E Feliz Navi C Prospero D Navidad two three four and then the next increment or the next pattern would be just to play a pulse in the left hand. This will. be a good opportunity to start working on the hand independence before the genres come into play so one two a good way to develop the pulse is move your head to the melody while you're playing it you may not even want to play anything but maybe do an iteration just with your head counting the pulse one two and exactly what this head is doing you're going to transfer it to our left hand with what the chord roots of each of the chords so c d g maybe e feliz navi c prosper d g you can stop there do 3 4 stop like it is in the original 2 3 4 1 Feliz Navidad su si di Feliz Navidad di e Feliz Navidad si di So that's about the pulse and for those of you who know your chords or at least the chords without inversions just the root positions of the chords at this stage you could probably play the root chords Uh, the root positions of the chords in a block shape or in a block style and just follow the pulse and a d e minor c d g again c and d This is where inversions will help you because otherwise you have to keep staring at the left hand in order to figure out where exactly to go, which is the next chord root. So if you master your inversions, please now we see now D, nothing in common. You can probably play G major like this. Da. Sounds better. Feliz Navi C, Prospero D. Mm, 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 mm. G. If you don't like blasting the chords so aggressively on the pulse, maybe you can do it as minims, which is one chord every two counts. Feliz Navi D. E minor. C. D. So this is a good way to kind of prepare us for what's to come the 5 plus 1 genres. So I hope that's cool. Uh, let me finish off the second part of the song as well. We want to we've not yet said uh, we want to wish you a merry christmas which is a very important part of the song. So let's do the B section as we call it. Okay so it starts at the end of beat 1. I want to wish you a merry christmas. I want to wish you a merry christmas. So what's happening there? The figure is you you don't play at the one. I want to wish you a merry christmas. So a lot of these off beats and it in fact starts at an off beat. It starts at the end of beat 1 and even Feliz Navidad if you remember earlier 1 and 2. Feliz it started at the end of the 2. And now I want to wish you I want to wish That's what makes it very interesting if you ask me. I want to wish you a merry christmas and I want to wish you a merry christmas and the rhythmic figure is the same. So if you can just kind of get this into your system. Pa ba ba pa pa ba pa pa ba pa with a snap. Pa ba ba pa pa ba pa 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 ba ba pa 
ba 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 da 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 da. It's pretty useful to snap at the two and the four, not. I want to wish you a ma- it feels more like a hard rock song or something so it to get the groove into our system it's always good to sing it and snap it or clap it at the 2 and the 4 of the bar ah I want to wish you a merry christmas something like that I want to wish you a merry christmas mm. I want to wish you a merry christmas from the bottom of my heart the t- Okay now let's bring the melody into the right hand and my general strategy to develop hand coordination especially when you're doing melody in one hand and chords with a pattern in the other hand would be first focus on the on, on the foundation which is the chords with rhythm whatever rhythm you're going to play and sing make sure you sing the melody before you actually bring it out there I want to wish you a merry christmas I want to wish now this is a bit tricky so first get this I want to wish you a merry christmas I want to wish you a merry christmas and once you've got that into the system play it a bit slowly figure out where the off beats are and the off beat you'll know when it's not when the right hand plays something which the left hand is not playing because the left hand is on the pulse right i want to wish you a merry christmas if the pulse is tough for you at this stage just hold go back to the uh, semi breves with chord roots g c d g and C D G Okay I've added some interesting chords at the end I've added an E minor A minor D G which serves as a nice uh, cadence to kind of resolve back to the tonic I'll just walk you through that so the chords are G I want to wish you a C major I don't want to wish you a C major but that's the chord G I want to wish you a merry christmas C major D I want to wish you a merry that's G major now E minor I want to wish you a merry christmas that's an A minor from the bottom D of my heart it's a nice progression do 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 What is that progression in the key of G? Very popular pop cadence. Where even in jazz music we use that. It's a 6 2 5 1. Pam 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 pam. Knows every jazz song, knows every pop song seems to have this sort of motion. So that's about the melody. I hope you can now uh, play the melody with the chord roots or block chords. Uh If if you need some time maybe you should pause the video practice it a bit and then watch the genres. So now let's focus on the genres. So the first style or the first genre we are going to learn on the piano is the march and how it works is just like people marching left right left right. Now if you want to get a nice marching pattern without the melody in the right hand this is what you do. You play the root of the chord in the left and you play the actual chord in the right and you go march left right another way to practice the march would be um pa um pa um pa you can say um pa okay but now the challenge is i have to play the tune there and i have to still create this marching feel so to do that i'll have to convert that entire pattern to one hand how do we do that i'll play it once and then let's see what's going on go You see that so the left right nature or the marching nature ended up being a chord I'm taking a chord let's say G major here which is the first chord actually C major is the first chord and if you go first note which is the root and the upper two notes the remaining two notes will be the pa um pa um 
pa so this would be at beat 1 for now and that would be at beat 2 and then beat 3 and beat four and to get a nice marching style it will be good to do the um like the word um um longer legato and pa choppier staccato so um pa um pa um so don't do um pa um pa um no one's going to dance if you play it like this so um pa um pa so a nice ideal so so the ideal way to play is with a combo of legato and staccato feel so legato staccato legato stack instead of saying legato staccato it's just easier to just say um pa face navidar and as always let's follow the process of singing getting the pattern then bringing the melody in the right hand feliz navidad feliz navidad e minor feliz navidad Prospero anno felicità and goes on till the B as well I want to wish you a merry christmas I want to wish you a merry christmas I want to wish you a merry christmas from the bottom of my heart and if you have a song you want to play over the season which I'm presuming is Feliz Navidad since everyone wants to play this you might as well grow as a piano player rather than playing it in one standard safe way so these are going to be 5 plus 1 very scalable technique so you can play it pretty much for a, a lot of material okay let me play the melody now remember sing and then play so i finish singing now i'm playing feliz navidad and e minor feliz navidad Prospero anno felicità One more time slow it down Feliz Navidad D Feliz Navidad and E minor Feliz Navidad Prospero anno felicità The second time he goes Prospero anno felicità It's a nice variation. Feliz Navidad, prospero anno felicità. That's the first time. Feliz Navidad, prospero anno felicità. And it works for the whole thing. I want to wish you a merry christmas. I want to wish you a merry. Oh, sorry. So that's the marching pattern moving on. So the closest rhythm I think will follow up after the marching style would be a kind of a Spanish style. So it's what I call or what we all tend to call as the flamenco technique. So let me play you the flamenco technique. It's pretty easy. It just adds one extra chord. So let's see how that goes. As you can see the music is getting very groovy at the moment. Felicidad. There we go. Feliz Navidad. So what's going on here? One and two and three and four. So that off beat is at at, at the end of the three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Four and one and two and three and four and one and. Feliz Navidad. Prospero anno felicità. Let's speed that up. Feliz Navidad. Oh oh. Feliz Navidad. Tu ru tu ru. Feliz Navidad. Prospero anno felicità. And as always we now try and attempt the melody the same melody and as the genres go forward you'll find that you need to work a bit more on your hand independence so uh, you can also watch a few of my other lessons which just focus on the problem of hand independence we leave some videos in the description at this stage you may even want to consider do i want to play the melody higher or lower maybe you like it Uh, you have you have a good vibe playing the melody one octave high chords one octave high chords one octave low 
where it used to be you never know so you have to decide your preferred octave that might also help i'm just going to stick with what we started with feliz navidad feliz navidad tum tum You know a song on minor this flamenco technique will work pretty well Flamenco is more on minor but I'm just calling it flamenco because of the rhythm pattern right so I hope you enjoyed that genre flamenco let's now move into style number 3 So for this genre we are going to need to do something to the melody at a global level we are going to need to swing the melody so what that means is Feliz Navidad tum pa tum pa tum ta dum ta ra dum So that's swing what's happening here is if the beat was divided into two units 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and the ands are going to get displaced ever so slightly to the swing feel So what was once this will now be that So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 so 1 and 2 feliz navidad that's the swing mm. feliz navidad pum 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 feliz da bu pum pum ma si pa spero bam pum 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 feliz da dun Okay that's your swing feel as opposed to feliz navi dun 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 that's your straight dun 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 right so straight and swing it's a nice strategy to maybe take a song which was one straight and then try to swing it like me i don't know uh, that seems pretty straight right so so you can pretty much swing anything and it gives you a, gives your song a very drastic change if you ask me you know you know okay i'm not going to go on and on with more songs this is a christmas lesson remember so to establish reggae that's one thing you need to swing and then we come back to our good old marching technique our first marching technique and it's actually going to be made easier because you're not going to play anything at beat number 3 what was the march again just that right nis navidad while for reggae you're just not playing the beat 3 let me show you feliz navidad feliz navidad feliz and i'll give you a variation as well felicidad the variation now because we created that room right feliz navidad feliz navidad feliz navidad prospero on your felicidad so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and, and of the 3 and on of the 4 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 4 okay let's start with the basic reggae and then the modified reggae
keep it simple if you want don't do that off beat pattern lot of bob marley songs just pretty much go pretty much that so you don't have to do that additional swing hit which i gave you so that's about reggae let's now move on to genre number 4 I'm just going to call this the dance genre. So if you want people to dance or if you want it to sound like it's played in 2023, maybe this pattern will help you out. So the pattern goes and there are two variants depending on your skill level on the piano. The first version would be what we call as the tresio. Tresio means three hits, so it's a very common salsa rhythm which we use very often in dance music. So the pattern goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and and the challenge here is to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. What's very important is the and of the two needs to be staccato 2 and 3 and the on of the four can be legato 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 Four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Feliz Navidad, prospero año, felicidad. One and two. There we go. One and two. It's still four four. Just the feel has changed to tresio. Moving on. B. Wish you a merry Christmas. Now the tresio to be a bit more dancier than this. Instead of going one and two and three and four and one, and I can do one e and two e and three e and four e and one e. I can do sixteenth notes. which divide the beat into four units there's a lot more off beats in there right there we go maybe sing it feliz navidad prospero año felicitat one year or two i want to wish you a merry so this will be a more 16th note tresio beta tan 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 you see the the voice and the piano at least the right hand of the piano and my voice whenever i play or at least work on solo piano arrangements i try to equate the right hand with my voice whatever comes out of my voice if ever it does it has to also go here or vice versa they are they are the same thing the the hand is an extension of your voice so if you think that way practicing the piano becomes very process driven and i think process driven is a lot more fun than uh, result driven result in the sense you want to get play feliz navidad but you don't uh, you don't ask yourself how should i play feliz navidad should i play it with all these bells and whistles or should i just play it to please someone no should play it to primarily please yourself so you should find a process which works for you and a process which also helps you learn other songs which i hope you will after watching this video so let's revise the two dance forms once more first the slow eighth note variant of the tresio One and two, one and two, and three and four and one and two, one and two. Let's try the fast one. I think, come to think of it, the A section you should play the slow tresio, and the B section you should play the fast tresio. Let's see how that works. Feliz Navidad, slow tresio. Chorus. 
So I think that works well. Or you can flip it around. So tell me what you think in the comments uh, after you've tried this out. And also which pattern you have ended up uh, preferring or choosing for this Christmas season. Or maybe you can do one pattern this Christmas and another one next Christmas if you want. And you can always share your performances with me. I... Me and Nathaniel School, we have Instagram accounts, so you can always tag either of our channels or both and we'll be happy to go through it and even share it. We, we love to share our students' performances, so you can record it, tag us. It'll be a lot of fun to listen to you playing this piece as well. So let's move on to pattern number five. I'm going to teach you probably a genre you've all heard and arguably the world's most influential genre, the blues. So let's try and play Feliz Navidad in a blues style. And I'll give you two patterns, two simple bass patterns, which I think will serve you well. So one pattern would be you take every single chord in the in the music and let's simplify our chord progression to just G major, C major and D major chords because that's what blues does. It just does 1, 4 and 5. We don't need the 6 and the uh, other minor chords in this, in this rendition. So if you are on G major, instead of playing G major in some pattern, you go the blues way and play this sort of a pattern. So it's 1-5 intervillically from the chord and 1-6 intervillically from the root of the chord. So that 1-5 of G would be G, D, G, E. Sorry, 1-5 would be G, D. 1-6 would be G, E. And then you repeat that. 1-5, 1-6, 1-5, 1-6. And of course, without stops. This is your pattern. This could be used in 12 bar blues or it's in this case going to be used in Feliz Navidad. Why not? So, Feliz Navidad. Now here, Navidad. I want to go to C there because that's my chord. So go to the root. What is 1516 of C? C, G, C, A. Hmm. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, Prospero on your Felicidad. So that's a bluesy rendition. And because it's blues, we tend to also swing the music. So instead of going Feliz Navidad. Actually, that's also nice. So if you play blues, which is traditionally swung, make it a bit faster and play everything straight. Don't swing. It tends to become rock and roll. Or you can go back to the blues. Maybe for the B section or the same A section, I'll give you another blues pattern, which is more of a bass line. Boom, boom. Pom, that's intervillically 1, 3, 5, 6, 5 based on each root. So this will test your independence, I presume, a little bit. I don't know which one I like better, so might as well use both in this blues version. So one is a very traditional piano blues pattern. The other is more a bass guitar pattern, which is brought to a piano. Hey, piano players play it very often as well. So I can't finish this lesson without one more genre from my part of the world. So I'm going to just call this an Indian style or an Indian rhythm style. And to generate anything which sounds... Indian or maybe Eastern, you know, stuff you might find from the Middle East or India, 
the subcontinent in general we use a lot of triplets the time field is generally triplets so what happens with the beat it gets divided into three units two three four one two on it as one and a two and a three and a four so Feliz Navidad. Uh, 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 uh. Feliz Navidad. Mm, 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 mm. So, if you get that vibe, we are not going to play all those triplets. You know, that will also hurt your hand, You know, which none of us want. So, what you can do is just break up your chord. One. And four, and don't swing it. You may, might think that Indian feel is like swing. It's not really swing because there are a lot more permutations than normal swing. So this could be a good pattern that you can uh, consider playing. You can go one and two, one and a two, and it's like a tresio, but a triplet version of the tresio. One and a two, and a three and a four, and a one and a two, and a dum tak dum dum. One and a two and a three and again you have to work on your independence. This this could be a good pattern to work with. One and a two and a one and a two and a. One and a two and a three. Right, guys? So we've covered Feliz Navidad in five plus one genres. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And I hope you found the lesson useful. Do consider getting the staff notation on our Patreon page. It's available as a MIDI file as well as a downloadable PDF. And you can also consider hitting that bell icon and hitting the subscribe button for regular notifications. We have a lot more Christmas tutorials. We've put it in a playlist. So do check that out in the description. You can learn a bunch of songs. So if you have any song requests, it's probably all in that playlist. And we'll be doing a few more Christmas lessons as well. And you can learn in-person classes with Nathaniel at any given point. Maybe you want to sign up for a course sometime soon or in the new year. You could consider filling up a form in the description and our course advisor will reach you. You can also visit our website nathanielschool.com for course details. Thanks a ton for watching the video and here's wishing you and your family Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cheers.